Hey everybody, it's I. I just want to do a quick update. I'm still doing Insanity. I'm on day 12. Wait, 12, 13, 14, day 13. Thir day 13! And I'm doing really good. I only missed one day because I was <laughs> super tired one day. It was, it was actually, it might have been the night or two nights after. Oh, it was two nights after I came from Vegas and I had been pushing myself um, you know, after Vegas, I had to get a bunch of stuff done and I've been pushing myself. So that Tuesday after Vegas, I was going to work out and I've been working out at night because the only time I have. And I went to go put my kids to bed. And as they were reading to me, I have them read to me now as practice, reading practice. And I dozed off. So they actually read me a bedtime story. <laughs> And then they proceeded to keep playing because they saw that mommy was sleeping. So they didn't go to bed. And when I woke up, they were still awake. So I, I think I dozed off for like half an hour or something. And I had to put them to bed. That took a while because they're all riled up. And um, I decided it was already like 1045, maybe later. And I decided, you know what, I'm not going to push my body. I'm not going to try to work out after I just, you know, slept. My body was groggy already after that. But anyways, so I missed one day. That was one day. And then I tried to make up for it. And I didn't quite do that. I mean, I didn't do two whole uh, two whole workouts, which would have been 45 minutes each. So what I did was I did a 45, I did one of the DVDs that was supposed to be for that day. And then um, I did it in the morning. And I have way more energy that time. I got to do a lot more of the exercises without modifying them too much. And then in the afternoon, I did squats, push-ups, things like that. And so I didn't do the whole 45 minutes, but I did um, similar exercises to what, you know, they have in Insanity. But I didn't do it for 45 minutes. I'm glad I did it anyways. So um, I've been doing really good. I don't know if I've lost any weight because I haven't been weighing myself. I had my husband hide the scale during the first week. And then the next week, I gave it to my mom, who's here visiting, and she's back on HCG. So the scale is like all the way downstairs in the room they're staying in. So I don't, I don't go all the way down there when I wake up to weigh myself. So, um, so I haven't weighed myself in two weeks, and I've been like free. I mean, like it feels so good not to weigh, and I, I don't recommend it to people who are still on the protocol. But if you've been off the protocol for a while already, like I have. Um, it's really an awesome feeling. So I haven't been on the protocol since, uh, April, like before I left for the Philippines. So early, early April, I haven't weighed, so I have no idea how much I weigh. I know that I'm heavier than LDW because my clothes are tight, but they still fit. Um, I've been monitoring my workout with a polar heart rate monitor, and that's how I get the calories. And I average anywhere between 400 and 600 calories per workout, depending on how hard I push myself. So it's awesome because that's, that's like as much as at least one meal for me. I mean, like one meal during the day. So it's pretty cool. I tried a couple things lately. I try to have juices, which I never, ever have because I was always afraid um, to have that much sugar. But it's actually not that bad. So, uh, and I wouldn't know really when it comes to the weight because I haven't been weighing. But I know that I feel better. And um, I know that Shakeology makes me feel better. I know that the juice makes me feel better. And I feel a lot better when I don't eat a lot of carbs. But I do eat carbs every day. And I, I feel that because I work out, I need it. So I can't, I try to stay away from it as much as possible. But I feel like, oh my gosh. I need to replenish my energy um, and um, it's totally um, I would say required if you were gonna do something like insanity or p90x so as for my mom she's starting her second week of HCG and she's already lost about 11 or 12 pounds so I'm really happy for her and she's gonna hit Wonderland this round so woo! and she said she doesn't even remember the last time she was in Wonderland so she's my mom is about I think she's 67 um, 67 years old or 68 1948 <laughs> 67 so um that's awesome for her to be going through that and it'll help out her joints and her knee problems and things like that so um i think that's it
I've been trying to watch some of you guys on YouTube. It's really hard for me to catch up because when you're not on HCG, it's really hard to get motivated to watch and stuff. But I didn't want to fall off the face of the earth um, because I know there are people out there who are wondering what happens, um, what's life after HCG. So that's why I'm still here and um, hoping that people appreciate it. I'm all made up and dressed because I was supposed to go to dinner today, but my dad went to the ER. He's okay, but his acid reflux um, makes him uh, makes his blood pressure go high. So he went to the ER and he's not back yet. They've been gone for like five hours. That's what I hate about ER. Um, <clears throat> but so I missed the dinner and sent Angel off without me. So I'm still dressed and nowhere to go. So I decided I should probably vlog. Um, if, I'm going to give you a body shot because I haven't done that in a while and um, then I'll let you guys go. There we go. Um, there I am. And, um, that's it. I hope you guys are doing great. I will see you guys soon and uh, happy releasing, maintaining, and stabilizing. Talk to you soon. Peace out.